Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to the channel. It's me, your favorite newbie metalhead. Today we're going to be listening to all three singles by symphonic metal band Ad Infinitum. Now I am obsessed with this band. I love Ad Infinitum. I first got introduced to them uh, through their fourth record, Chapter 3, Downfall. Now that record has some absolute bangers. Ad Infinitum is like my uh, symphonic kind of pop metal. I call them pop metal because it gives me the like girly vibes, the femme vibes that I've been wanting uh, ever since I dropped Ariana Grande as an artist girl, okay? You just gotta have your, your female, oh, the femme vibes. I love it, I love it, I love it. I love Ad Infinitum and I'm so excited about this new album called Abyss. This is gonna be their fifth record releasing on October 11th on Napalm Records. Now, let me just tell you, girl, this is gonna be this is gonna be a project. I think it's gonna be really, really solid. So if you're interested in pre-ordering this record, if you're interested in listening to it, you definitely should. We've got some digitals, CDs, and they even printed two limited edition colored vinyls. If you're interested in picking those up, those are gonna be on napalmrecords.com. They're shot both European and US. So I will have links to that down below. But Adam Finitz is great and Melissa Bonney has an amazing and amazing voice so we've got three singles that they have released we have my halo outer space and surrender so we're gonna listen to them in that order because that is uh, the order that they are in based on the track list so um, yeah without further ado let's get into the first song called my halo Melissa. Look at you. And I hear the sounds spinning around in violence. In the dark, I'm shaking, but I'm paralyzed. Counting the hours till the morning light. Until I'm feeling aligned and loved and alive, but it falls down. Ah, uh, girl, wait. She looks gorgeous. Am I ready? I don't know. It's like I'm running in a circle. Oh. Transition though, and I can't escape though. Trying to find a sanctuary.
girl. I have a feeling that this album is going to be better than Chapter 3 Downfall. I really do. If that's what we have to expect, like that single alone is so refreshing and so pretty. And I love the little pop element, the bum, ba, da, da, ba, da, ba, that thing. Ah, so pretty. It definitely has more of like a pop bounce to it where I feel like chapter three downfall we explored a lot of the like uh symphonic metal vibes obviously because that's what they are um but I feel like Melissa didn't explore a lot of her like lower range you know she definitely was staying more into this uh simpler it's not simple uh, it's just the uh, clean vocals you know she she mostly had clean vocals and that's my only real complaint with that album is I wanted more heavier growls and I love that she gave it to us she gave the best of both of her range with this song and I love absolutely love how much of both like this is basically like a pop banger with like metal screams in it and like metal guitars and that is like what I'm living for like she is giving me the pop femme vibes that I want she's got some glitter you know like these silver glittery gems even the guitar dude was wearing it I bet those were an absolute pain to get off afterwards <laughs> but uh, there, you know, it's glittery and it's femme and I just, I love it. I love it so much. The vibe of Ad Infinitum is everything I've been wanting with what I lovingly call my chick metal. Ugh, I would do anything to see Ad Infinitum live. I'd be banging out my voice to it. I, I wouldn't have a voice after the show. I can tell you that much. So I'm very excited already about this song and I can tell you that that's like immediately going on a playlist for me so we're gonna listen to the next single this is called Outer Space it is a longer track this one's like four and a half minutes long so we're getting about 45 minutes to a minute more of content in comparison to the other two singles including my Halo so let's see what out Outer Space <laughs> has for us so let's go Mm. Oh, she's wearing space buns. Whoa. Yes, we got the lower range, girl. Come on. Shooting stars crashing on. Love you in the space buns, Melissa. Oh, come on, girl. Oh, 
You won't watch yourself. Wait, what? So beautiful. Uh, I'm out of sight. I'm out of my mind. And I scream, I'm so The run? I love Ad Infinitum, girl. That's why I love it. Melissa Bonnie, I cannot wait for your, no, your, your new record. That was a really hard sentence for me to get out, girl. I can't wait. That's why I love Ad Infinitum. You give me the the low screams, beautiful melodies. That's my favorite part is the beautiful, beautiful melodies. And Melissa's voice is so freaking beautiful. I'm such a vocal person, obviously, because that's my job. But <laughs> I like vocals. And she, ah, and I'm screaming. Whatever that little vocal run she did, girl, praise it. Okay, gorgeous, pulls back everything and has this amazing, just stripped down, gorgeous, gorgeous chorus. The reverb on her voice is absolutely phenomenal. And I love how the song starts so aggressive, but ends kind of on this gorgeous low note, you know, on this like just super soft note it's not low like in a bad way soft out of control like really screaming on kind of a morbid note I don't think the song is about this but it kind of reminds me of the astronauts that are like lost in space right now <laughs> they're like stranded in space that's so morbid but like she was like in the lyrics it says something about I'm scream and I scream I'm sorry on the radio can you hear my echo and that just kind of reminded me of that terrifying I don't think I could oh, could you imagine being stranded in space could you imagine being stranded in space just like in your spacesuit girl nothing else knowing that you're gonna die like no thanks I ain't ever stepping foot in a rocket ship I'm just letting you know this is about as much space as I'm willing to get with my with my spaciness okay so already out of <laughs> out of control is not what it's called it's called outer space already outer space and my halo are bangers absolute bangers um you got more pop elements with my halo than you did with outer space outer space is more uh of the true ad infinitum sound i feel like with what you got with uh chapter three downfall so it's very similar in that regard new yes but still in that pocket still in that vein so let's see what they do with this third song called surrender are they going to mix these two elements that are kind of flown with my halo and outer space or are we just going to get something new are we going to get uh the same kind of vibe as chapter three let's find out this is their next single surrender 
Ooh. Pop vibe. Give me the dance moves, girl. I'm here for it. God, you look gorgeous. No, you can't turn back anymore. Ooh. I just got chills. Girl, I feel like I'm damn floating. Hold on. That's such a tiny guitar he's playing, too. I'm overwhelmed. I'm gonna cry. I have chills everywhere in my body right now. Are you kidding me? What the hell just happened? I've got no words. Melissa, okay, next time you gotta warn a girl, okay? Ugh. And I was. I was saying, oh, is it going to be a mix? Is it going to be something new? This is new and a mix. It's both of those things. I'm in love with the sound of this song. I'm loving this new direction. <sighs> with the 80s like synth wave sound, it's such a bop, girl. Oh my god, and then you do, like, oh, it's just, ah. Oh. It's so soft in the first chorus. You drop it, and you give me these, like, 
jaw dropping freaking screams like the gutturals girl nobody's expecting that and you don't bring it back which i also love too because it would be a little weird to kind of bring it back i mean it wouldn't be weird but i love the direction of not bringing it back because it makes the replayability of the song that much better because some people are like okay i'm living for that chorus i want that so i'm gonna replay it <laughs> and then get that experience again within that first chorus but i love you give me everything i want in this song girl Ugh. That's bar none my favorite. I think if I had to pick a weak single out of these three, it would be Outer Space. But honestly, it's like, it's only, it's not even weak. They're all bangers. But like, Surrender, I think, is my number one. And then I think my Halo. Surrender is just such a bop, girl. That is a bop, bop, bop and a half. And I think, I cannot believe you pulled back and had the acoustic guitar. Threw away the kiss, no worries no more. What if we just sailed away from the shore? Amazing lyrics, amazing melody, love the acoustic ending. And I love how your voice, as if Melissa Bonnie's gonna watch it, but <laughs> I love how Melissa's voice kind of cracks. What if we just let it on that let it kind of cracks just a little bit and I love that. I love when artists have like actual like sounds, like the vocal sounds, just human noise. <laughs> it sounds weird because everything is obviously a human noise, I guess, but it's like so many bands just want to overcorrect their albums and some, uh, you know, artists will go to the extremes of literally editing every single <gasps> you know, uh, like inhale or exhale or whatever um, in between their singing. Um, but I love that, you know, with the voice crack, it also adds with, to the emotion, you know, the vulnerability of that note and the feeling of it, because obviously it's a stripped down section of the song, right? So the voice crack just adds to that vulnerability, vulnerability, is that how you say that? I don't know. Uh, it just adds to it. And I also love how I think it was in my halo she was screaming and you could hear her like super sharp inhales when she was doing that. I also really like that because the producer could have easily just been like, oh, let's like, you know, get rid of that. But I just love that because it, it makes the album, makes the songs sound more human, you know. Um, great great singles really great singles i i literally am gonna have these on repeat i'm not even kidding i am not even kidding i love ad infinitum this is one of the best bands that i have come to discover within the last couple of years um so if this is a new band to you don't sleep on them if you're into like symphonic metal if you're into like if you're wanting another like female led like metal band that has great melodies and great, great lows and highs and vocals and all of that stuff, Ad Infinitum is absolutely hands down one of my favorite bands to get into and like listen to. And I cannot tell you how excited I am about this new record abyss because i think that this new direction that they're experimenting with is going to be super fresh and new in comparison to chapter three downfall um admittedly i haven't listened to anything previously from chapter three because i just was jamming chapter three <laughs> downfall for a while i ain't gonna lie um but this sounds like it's gonna have more um, I'm hoping they bring more of that 80s synthwave vibe, um, just like they did with Surrender and more of this kind of like pop vibe like they did with My Halo. I hope they also have a few songs on here that reflect Chapter 3 Downfall and that kind of melodic, symphonic sound that they were doing. Um, and I hope they have some heavy hitters, girl. 
I hope that they bring in some heavy hitters. They got a song on here called Parasite. That sounds like that might be it. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm so excited about this album. So let me know what you think about these singles down below. Are you excited about this new record, Abyss, from Ad Infinitum? Like I said, it is being released on Napalm Records on October 11th. They have digital, physicals, and C digital and physical copies. So they've got two limited edition vinyls. If you're interested, they've got CDs. Uh, I'll have the Napalm Shops linked down below if you're interested in picking those up. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here and i will see you in the next video bye you guys